so many parents have lost confidence in themselves. I feel like the village is broken that helps support parents. This work is part of building that village back up. Hi everyone, I am delighted to introduce you today to Kira Denno. Kira is one of our certified parenting coaches here at the Jai Institute for Parenting. And Kira, thank you so much for coming and chatting about all things Jai with me. I'm thrilled. Thank you for having me. So thrilled. So thrilled. Tell me what you were up to in the world before you uh, got certified here at Jai. So when I came to Jai, um, my boys were little and things were starting to get tough. <laughs> so, um, you know, I had a really close connected relationship with my boys. That was really super important to me, but I couldn't figure out how to get them to listen and have a connected relationship. And so I had the like closeness but then I didn't know how to be like in charge, like be the boss kind of. And so, um, and so it was getting ugly, like it was getting ugly where um, I was using screen time as a, like a threat, you know, if you don't do this, you're going to lose your screen time. And um, I remember my younger son, who's nine, he was little, but um you know, he would go to bed so angry with me because I was using threats and I, you know, bedtime had become like a threat time instead of this like really lovely connected time. And so um, he would hold a grudge. So we would wake up in the morning, we'd have to kind of like reconnect and, um, you know, it, it, it wasn't what I wanted. Um, and to be totally honest, what happened was, um, um, Donald Trump got elected and I applied to Jai that day. So like, not we are not following this pattern. <laughs> so I, not to make this super political, but like I had wanted to be a coach for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what? This is a sign from the universe that I can't just like, I need to walk my walk, not just like talk like, oh, it's important. Um, so I, I thank Donald Trump for um, motivating yes. me to get into action. I mean, so, I think you raise a really good point. It's, you know, and I really, especially for our boys, you know, what, what power over or power under parenting does to them is creates a lot of internalized anger, internalized rage, and we're seeing the you know, the ripples of that in, in devastating ways, it, politics, gun shootings, you know, all of these things. And the answer is for parents to find ways for their boys to feel seen and heard and understood and trusted. So yeah. I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. So, and I, and I wanted it to be peaceful, right? I didn't want to be threatening and I didn't want to be, um, you know, using the power over model. So, so when yeah. you joined Jai, was your intention to, to coach other families or was it really a decision based on wanting this education information, these strategies for your own kids? Yeah. Um, I think I, I knew I wanted to be a parent coach, even when they were little, I just, um, I just, I knew that I would love doing this. <laughs> I knew yeah. I would love to think that maybe why I also became a pediatrician too. Um, and I, you know, when I'm in the NICU with families, um, it's always really, really important to me. I, I feel like so many parents, um, have have lost confidence in themselves. They think that it's a bunch of answers or the book will tell them what to do. And like, it's so clear to me that the, the answer is in your heart, right? It's, it's not about um, that I- Boxes, yeah. Yeah, right. And so, um, so I kind of, I, I knew like from my professional work in the NICU that, that you can be a 16 year old mom and, and be amazing with your child because it's, it's not about 
something you read in a book. It's really like about trusting yourself and finding that relationship with your kids. So, um, yeah. Yes, you've always had that. So as you went through the program, what did you discover? What shifted? Yep. Um, I mean, everything. Um, I, I guess um, I, I would say for me, it's the energy that I bring because again, it's not a checklist, right? It's really like, um, it, it's a trust, right? Trusting myself, trusting the relationship with my kids that we can work anything out. And really that in the moment, the relationship is more important than any control, right? Mm -hmm. I, I may have to give up control over, you know, this behavior, yeah. um, but my long-term payoff is so much bigger and my um, influence with my kids is so much bigger when I have that relationship that it, it far exceeds whatever you know control I lost in that little behavior moment. So um, yeah. I could imagine that parents are listening to this and it can sound very scary. What do you mean? You know, I can just hear like, what do you mean give up control? They're gonna, you know, get hit by a car. They're going to, you know, go wild. How do you address that fear, that very understandable fear that parents have that if they relinquish control, they're, they're not parenting well or they're putting their children at risk? Yeah, no, no, that's true. Um, so, so um, you know, we differentiate between real danger, right? So danger is running in front of a car. Absolutely. There's no, we're not going to talk about it. It doesn't really matter what your feelings are, right? Like that. So that's danger. And then there's fear, right? And they're slightly different and we can kind of like delve into it. You know, what is your fear behind that? What's your fear under that, right? I have fears too, uh, um, but, but like when you um, really kind of get into your heart space, you can be honest about like, well, the, the, the street is really dangerous. So that's not where, you know, there's no- Right, but maybe something like I uh, get off the video at nine o'clock at night. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so, um, and your question is more like, what is the, well, I just, I think that what I, what I notice is that so many parents want to parent in this way, right. To be connected, to trust their intuition, to let the relationship come first. Mm -hmm. And then there's all this background noise, right. Of, am I going to ruin my kid? Are they going to be spoiled? Are they going to know how to behave in the world if I don't exert control over them. Yes, no, no, I see, I see what you're saying. And um, um, so I, I named my parent coaching business Sweet Spot Parent Coaching because I think there is a sweet spot, right? We're not like just saying everything goes, right? <laughs> um, so, so in fact, um, there are things that you're not gonna let your kids do. You just have to get in touch with like, are, are these important? What are these, what are these things? How, why are they important? So um, yeah, I mean, it's like, there's a bedtime, you know, there's a wake up time, there's a structure, there's a, you know, we do things in a certain order. So it's not like uh, you just do what you want. If, okay. if that maybe did you, did you have to overcome any fears to embrace this empowered parenting model? Yeah, I mean, so so I I came to this because I had a really painful relationship with my own mom growing up. And so I wanted to do it differently. I knew that kind of like, you know, before my kids were born. Um, so um, I think my worry was if I said no, that my kids wouldn't still like me and love me, you know? And so, um, but if there's real power in getting conscious to that, like, you know, why is this hard for me? Oh, it's because I'm afraid if I say no, that, you know, I'm going to recreate what happened with me and my mom, right? I mean, so, and so kind of the more conscious that I get, the more I'm able to say, you know, like be intentional about it. And is this what I want? Is this serving me and my kids? And so, um, yeah, so, so, and again, I just, um, I have created such a good relationship with my kids. I feel so confident that I can be like, nope, the answer is no. And we're still going to be okay because we have this bond. That's. You know, I think that's always one of the things that I notice in these conversations and certainly with my own children 
is that there's room for, there's room for a breach, you know, there's room for, you know, anger, there's room for frustration, there's, there's room for kids to be upset with us, and it's okay. Yes, yes, so, so yes, absolutely, there are times that, you know, it, it's still gonna be loud or angry, as you say. Yeah, for sure. So what's it like to work with families and take them through this, this work? Oh, I adore it. I could do this like 24 seven. I could just do it all the time. I sometimes wonder if I like, <laughs> like, and like it so much that I am gonna bore other people. But um, so it's wonderful. I, I mean, I think um, every family comes to me in a different spot, right? Some people are, um, wanting to yell less or use fewer punishments or be more connected. Um, I work with a lot of divorced families who are struggling with, with issues around divorce. Um, so everybody comes with different things um, and they always have more confidence at the end. They always have a better relationship and that's just so gratifying. I just can't even tell you how great it is. I mean, obviously you hear this all the time. This is not new for you to hear, but um, I mean, this is people's relationship with their kids is probably the most important thing in their lives. And for them to be successful at it has such a ripple effect in every other part of their lives and they feel more successful and um, I, I really believe it builds, you know, everything, all the positiveness builds on yeah. itself. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, obviously I think everyone should have a parenting coach. We all have blind spots. We all have areas of, of growth, uh, to become the leader, the mentor and the guide that our children deserve. And, and you're right. You know, when, when things are good at home with our kids, it's like a weight off. It just makes everything else better. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, um, you know, and sometimes people are struggling with really serious things. And um, I also believe that just having a place to um, safely talk about the things in your parenting that aren't going well, um, I feel like that's huge. Because as you say, like, I I'm not perfect. I have things in my parenting that are struggles and blind spots, as you say. And I can benefit from, you know, having a safe place to like talk about that honestly. So yeah, it's huge. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. What would you say to someone watching this, maybe considering becoming a parenting coach? Um, yeah, I mean, um, what would I say? I would say um, this is this is like the most important thing that you could do, right? It's the most important thing you could do probably for yourself, your family, and then the ripples of any family that you're going to help. Um, I, I, feel like, uh, I feel like the village is broken that helps support parents, right? It, it, it raises kids, but it also supports parents. And um, I hope that this work is part of building that village back up, you know? Couldn't agree more. Kira, thank you so much for taking the time. If people are interested in working with you or learning more about your uh, your business, where can they find you? Yep, so um, I'm Sweet Spot Parenting. So it's uh, sweetspotparenting.com. Um, I'm also on Facebook. It's Kira Denno, Sweet Spot Parenting on Facebook as well. Yeah. Amazing. Well, we adore you, as you know, and keep doing your awesome work in the world in the NICU and out. And we will talk to you soon, Kira. Mm, thank you. I so appreciate it.